Listen, friends, you need to hear me. The Republican Party at this stage in its development is at war with the rest of us. They're at war with women. And women, if you think they're going to stop with just outlawing the abortion pill, you got another thing coming. When they're done getting a national ban on abortion, which is what they're going for, they're coming for your birth control. And when they're done with that, they're going to move on to LGBTQ rights. They're coming for gay marriage. Don't think that you, if you're LGBTQ, but you're rich and affluent and Republican, that you're safe because they're coming for your rights too. They're coming for all non-white immigration because look, if they can force American women to give birth, who needs immigration? They'll just replenish the impoverished, desperate workforce with poor people. They force American women and girls, little girls, teenage girls, and younger to make. They're coming for workers' rights because once they have their population of low wage workers, why give them any rights? Why give them the right to unionize? Why give them any rights at all? Give them low wages and then give them nothing else. They're coming for education because the last thing you want is an educated workforce are educated people who know history and know enough about history to see what they're doing. They're coming for your books. They're coming for black history. They're coming for Holocaust history. They're coming for the history of all nine white people and they're gonna erase it from our schools. And one thing that they will never do is protect a single child from getting slaughtered in school because their only true worship is guns. They're gonna allow as many assault weapons to flood our society and our schools as the gun manufacturers wanna put out there. And then they're gonna demand that all of the people who they control, whether they give birth, who they control, whether they can vote, who they control, whether they can marry, whether they can see a drag show or perform in one, they're gonna force every single one of those people to subject themselves to constant risk of death. Getting shot down at school, at the Walmart, at the top supermarket, at the mall, at a parade, at a concert, walking down the street, third grade, fourth grade, 12th grade, they don't give a damn how many people die. They're coming for black power. You think they're gonna stop with what they did in Tennessee? Florida Republicans are already studying that and saying we can do the same thing. You think they're gonna stop by just evicting troublemaking black lawmakers in one state? Anyone who displeases them is on the menu. So if you don't comply, they'll just throw you out of your state house. They want one party state. They're coming for our literal freedom, our freedom of movement. This law that says that in Idaho, you can't leave your state to get abortion care. Well, I mean, what will it matter now once they make the pill illegal everywhere? They're coming for blue states. They don't care if you live in a state where you have liberal government and where you have a liberal population. They sure don't care about that in Nashville. They want every state to comply. They wanna turn every state into their white Christian nationalist hell that they control. And then they're gonna curtail your voting rights so you can't undo it. If we don't wake up, and now I wanna really talk with my white sisters because you all are still voting 60-40 for them you're still letting them control you and your body in states like Texas, in states like Tennessee, in states like Florida. Your daughters aren't so much. 
Because young white folk, they done figured it out. They're now voting majority Democratic because they understand when they vote that the only solution to the extremism of the modern day Republican Party is for them to lose. If they don't start losing elections, and I mean everywhere, from dog catcher to state house to state senate to school board to Congress to the presidency, until they lose all of it and they are stripped of power, they are never going to moderate. But if they lose, if you are a Republican and you care about your party, the only solution to their extremism is for them to lose. When they lose enough elections, and they lose enough power, and they lose control of enough states, they will moderate. And then we will have two normal political parties again. And I'm not saying this because the Democrats are outstanding or perfect, but they're normal. And they don't want total control over your womb. And they're willing to protect you from gun violence and gun death and gun massacres. So all I have to say is this especially my young folks, you need to register to vote. And you need to vote in every election, off year, on year, local, state, national, all of them. And you need to vote them all out, even the nice ones. You think, you know, this is a Republican, I like them, they seem nice, vote them out. Because until that party begins to lose on an epic scale, they can't moderate because they are captive to a base that is so extreme, that is so Christian nationalist, that they can't be fixed until they lose. The Republican Party is at war with the rest of us. The Republican Party is at war with the rest of us. They have embraced white Christian nationalism and extremism, and the only way to fix it is they gotta lose. It's Stefcon 1, y'all. We damn near in Gilead. Wake up. Wake up. Take action. And stay woke.